Hello guys, what is up? It's your boy Spooky Noodles, aka Nicholas Gray, author of such titles as Gray's Anatomy, Gray Matter, and The Chihuahuan Centipede. Today I am here to review Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison. And, um, yeah, <laughs> what a book. Um, so I'm going to read the synopsis first, and then I'm going to do my little uh, review, and then we'll talk about it maybe. So here we go. Here's the synopsis. In this bleak and disturbingly erotic debut novel, iconoclast Chandler Morrison, I think that's how you say the word, provides readers with a dark exploration of the nature of death, individuality, and generational identity. Along the way, lines will be crossed, taboos will be violated, and common decency will take an extended leave of absence. This is not for the faint of heart or weak of stomach, or anyone enjoy, who enjoyed Fifty Shades of Grey. A young hospital security guard with a disturbingly unique taste in women, a maternity doctor with a horrifically unusual appetite, when the two of them meet, they embark on a journey of self-discovery as they shatter societal norms while engaging in destructive and abhorrent, abhorrent blah, 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 behavior <laughs> as they unwittingly help each other understand a world in which neither of them seems to belong, to belong, be, be to, bleh, truly means to be, to belong. Wow, I, I screwed that up. I'm just going to leave it in. You guys can hear that mistake. Um, here we go. <laughs> Let's continue. They began to realize what it truly means to be alive and that it might not always be a good thing. Holy cow, that was hard to read. I did not realize it was going to be that hard. But yeah, Chandler Morrison is a hell of a writer. Let me just state that before I read my review. I think you guys might be surprised by what I rate this story, but... You know what? I don't really care. I know there's a lot of uh, drama and stuff around this book. You know, you lose friendships from reading this book if you liked it. You lose friendships if you disliked it. You know, you read it and disliked it. So, or you just read it and in general, and someone gets mad at you for reading it. You know, so you know it's it's just a hard to go about it. But I'm gonna give you my honest opinion right here in my review. And yeah, so here we go. Here's my review. Gross, appalling, but somehow incredibly hard to put down. That's how I would describe my experience with Dead Inside. This was a gnarly tale about a misanthropic male that wants nothing to do with the living. It's a bizarre and stomach-turning book that I sort of enjoyed reading. This really tested my limits and I'm surprised I came out with a positive outlook on this book. The ending also is great and fitting. Overall, 4 stars. And yeah, I rated this one four stars. It was incredibly hard for me to do that because I wanted to give it more and I wanted to give it less. But I think four stars is where I'm going to go with this one. I think it was really well written. Uh, it was disturbing, gross, all those things, you know. I'm actually surprised it didn't disturb me more, but either way, it was a really good book. Um, I really enjoyed it. The narrator did a fine job, and actually, it says the narrator's name here, Daniel Caravita. Caravita? I think it's Daniel Caravita. Anyways, um, yeah, this one was a lot of fun. It was really testing my extreme ability, if you will. Like, I don't know how extreme I can go. Womb before Womb by Duncan Ralston was probably my pinnacle for disturbing extreme horror. But then I read Dead Inside and I think it's peaked the pinnacle, so I don't think anything's going to get more sadistically bad than Dead Inside. And I survived Dead Inside and I gave it 4 stars. So my extreme horror love for extreme horror is great. I just wish I could write it better, you know? And that's why I'm in a class with Matt Shaw. And if you want to be in a class with Matt Shaw too, I'd highly recommend it. Um, it's a lot of fun. He's a he's a good teacher and he's thorough and patient and yeah, I would highly recommend his class. You can find it on Etsy. Maybe I'll put it in the description below, right under the buy the book here and um yeah so yeah i love extreme horror and this is probably the pinnacle of extreme for me i i don't think it can get any worse than this um 
And if there is a book out there worse than this, then let me know in the description below or in the comments below. But um, yeah, that's the review. I hope you guys are having a great day and a spooky night. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, so check you later. <laughs>